Unraveling, run down the lines, a journey into English phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase that might have puzzled many of you. Run down the lines. This expression, rich in imagery and application, offers a great example of how English uses metaphors to convey complex ideas in a few words. So, whether you're learning English as a second language or just looking to deepen your understanding of this vibrant language, you're in the right place. Let's explore together. Run down the lines might sound straightforward, but it packs a punch in meaning. This phrase generally means to review, summarize, or go over a list of items, ideas, or tasks systematically. It conjures the image of someone quickly moving their eyes or finger down a list, checking or covering each item as they go. It's a versatile expression used in various contexts, from everyday conversations to professional settings. To fully grasp the phrase, let's break it into its components. Rundown, this part of the phrase suggests a movement along a path or through a list. Rundown can also mean to examine or search through something quickly. The lines, here, lines, refer to a series of items, often written or implied, such as a list of tasks, points in a presentation, or even thoughts. Combining these, run down the lines, implies a swift, thorough review or summary of a series of points or items. Let's put, run down the lines, into context with a few examples. 1. In a meeting. Before we conclude, let's run down the lines of what we've agreed on today. 2. In project management. I'll run down the lines of the project phases to ensure we've covered everything. 3. In personal planning. Every morning, I like to run down the lines of my to-do list to organize my day. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to various situations, always implying a systematic and comprehensive review. To effectively use, run down the lines, in conversation or writing. Context is key, make sure the context involves a list, sequence, or series of points. Be clear, although it's a metaphorical expression, it should be used where its meaning of reviewing or summarizing is clear to the listener or reader. Practice, try using the phrase in different scenarios to get comfortable with its nuances. And there we have it, a closer look at the phrase, run down the lines. We hope this exploration has not only clarified its meaning but also enriched your understanding of the dynamic nature of English. Remember, Language learning is a journey, and every phrase you master adds to your ability to express yourself more vividly and accurately. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!